Kia ora as we head through the rest of this week. High pressure builds across and for many of parts of New Zealand, it means it's a fairly dry and settled story to come. As we head through the rest of this afternoon, we're going to find still a little bit more cloud out towards that eastern side of the north line and still a few showers just to get rid of it as well. But we are going to find as we head through the night time tonight and through in towards Thursday, high pressure builds across us and for the majority of the country, things are set to be pretty dry and fine. So through the night time, any early showers clearing away. We'll keep hold of this feature just towards the north, and it may introduce a few showers later on towards, I like to say, the Coromandel. But for many of us overnight tonight, it's dry. We might find a few pockets of mist and fog falling on those more inland parts of the north side. But most noticeably for all of us, it will be a cold night. Temperatures are quite low, down to some pretty single, low single figures across the North Island in those inland parts, and even back down towards, or even just below freezing in some of those coolest parts of the South Island as well. But generally, it's a chilly start first thing for Thursday. As we head through towards Thursday, you can see there's plenty of clear sky on the charts, plenty of dry weather as well. A few little flecks of blue just with that feature, bringing the chance of a few showers up towards parts of the Coromandel. But for the majority of us, it's a fine, dry and fairly settled story. Perhaps a few pockets of early morning mist or fog around likes to say Waikato in the central parts of the North Island. Other than that, not a bad story, a bit more in the way of cloud, just up with that feature and perhaps a few showers skirting towards the likes of, say, Great Barrier Island and towards the Coromandel. But most spots, I think, will stay dry through the daytime. Just a bit of cloud bubbling up about the tops of the ranges as we head in towards the afternoon as well. But generally, a good looking day on the North Island and we are going to find our temperatures back up to around about 19 or 20 degrees Celsius in the far north and not far off, even as we head out towards, say, that eastern coast as well. As we head down towards the south island, well, yep, there's plenty more dry weather still with us. Again, a little bit of early morning cloud in a few spots, but that'll clear off. And for most of the day, it's fine, dry, and fairly sunny as well. We are going to keep hold of a touch more cloud down towards Southland and in towards that corner of the country, down in towards Otago. But generally, plenty of fine, dry, and sunny weather right the way through towards the end of the day as well. And that sunshine is going to help lift our temperatures to highs around about 16 or 17 degrees Celsius quite widely across the country. And it's worth saying, although it's a cool night as we head through and towards Friday, it's perhaps not quite as cold as we'll see as we go through into those early hours of Thursday morning. Speaking of Friday, well, High pressure continues to sit over the country, which means again, perhaps a few pockets of early morning mist or fog, but we are going to find it's generally a dry story. Plenty of dry weather across Aotearoa. We're just going to find a touch more in the way of clouds, just perhaps up towards the far northern parts, perhaps a few showers pushing in towards northern there, a little bit more cloud down towards Fjordland. But other than that, generally a fine, dry and fairly settled end to the week. Just keep an eye out towards the far north. We have got a bit more in the way of wet weather pushing in towards the far northern parts of the country, just in time for the weekend. That's it from me, this is Rockmetservice.com.